right on the right. Right on the left. Let's see if Jackson goes into a four Gucci. Snap down, snap down. There's a nice take down there from Jackson Souza. That was beautiful. He drops in, now right into a single. Really nice, simple combination on that yeah. takedown. That worked great. Sweet. As soon as uh, Jeremy started to counter, get up. Right into a single cut back that corner. He's going to walk around towards his left if he keeps those legs pinned. Yeah, Guillermo's got to alleviate the pressure on his hips there. A little bit of space. Now trying to sit up. Did a good job coming up, but uh, couldn't capitalize with that grip on the pants. on right. Jackson now has double collars. I think it's a smart approach there from Guillermo to do that, to just get to guard because fighting takedowns with someone like Jackson so it's a tough style matchup for him. It is. It's And, you know, it looks like he's very confident on the feet, but the, the athleticism, look at this guard pass coming around. Got it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Yeah, but I agree with you, Kenny. I thought that was a good choice because Jackson's just so much faster. Yeah. But it cost him three on that one. But Santos looking for a way to get to his stomach there. He does. Grabbing the pant leg. Might save him from... Jackson going to his back here. There's the sprawl from Sosa. Nasty <laughs> sprawl. <laughs> My goodness. Head is buried onto the mat. <laughs> yeah. Looking like he wants to do a go behind here. Looked like two cats. Yeah. <laughs> Just jumping straight up. Like <laughs> left handed grip on the, the pant leg which can often mean that left leg wants to go over into the middle Jackson looks like he's trying to go for that hip smash there huh Sean? Yeah 
Yep. Trying to get those hips pinned to the knees, pinned to the side. Might sidestep to the right. His grip is getting way back there. He's adjusting it. Yeah, he may try to fake this left side and then jump back around to the right and lift the me up. Oh, let's change that grip now. Just going back to it now. Back up, back into a better guard scenario now. Whoa, let's get that back leg. Let's see if he can cut around the corner. Oh, turns into the mat. And we're trying to switch, basically like a switch, but yes. with the pant leg grip or the, the uh, waist grip there. A classic combination now wasn't always, but knee cut to then exactly smash that smashing pass. Good way to kind of beat outside Delaheva. Yep. With the popularity of outside Delaheva, you got to come up with passes, and that's what's happening. Yeah. Yep. left leg underneath and through the middle. Strong passing position now. Souza. Yeah, he really loves this style of pass here. Putting a lot of pressure on Guillermo now. Now he decides to go to the other side and working on a back take here. A little over two minutes to go. Might be pursuing the finish. He's got a significant lead here at nine to nothing. Yeah. Looking for the neck here, either collar. I would say either collar or arm lock. He might be thinking yeah. about this arm lock on this side. Looks like he was shifting his angle to try to control the wrist with the Kimura grip, but. Keeping Guillermo honest on both accounts. <laughs> yes.
There he is. Going for that collar choke. He's oh. very close now, it seems. There it is. Oh, boy. Dominant semifinal performance Ooh. there from Jackson Souza. Getting the win there in emphatic fashion. Up 9-0 to zero on points. Gave him a lot of freedom there to go for the submission. 20 seconds left of the match. Getting the tap. Jackson Souza will advance to the final. Advancing to the final, representing Jackman, Jackson Sosa Dos Santos. 